Hey everybody, Adam Schwartz, EXP Realty here in Reading. Just doing a quick video for you. I want to talk about a couple things. Uh, interest rates being one of the big topics today uh, regarding real estate and home purchases. Rates are still head, holding steady just a little below 5%, which as we discussed last week, uh, definitely affects buyer affordability. However, we are still seeing a ton of activity in our local market. So even though rates are up, it does make it a little harder for buyers to afford what they would like. However, most of the buyers that are in the market today are serious buyers compared to say two years ago when rates were really low, there was a ton of buyers in the market and serious buyers, but we also had a lot of people just looking and thinking about buying. And what we're seeing today is most of the buyers that are still actively looking at houses on the market, they need a house. Their landlord is selling, the house isn't big enough, they're relocating, something is causing them to need to buy a house, and so they're very serious. So instead of, say, 15 offers on some houses, now we're only seeing three or four, but they're very serious buyers that need to buy a home. So uh, really good for our local market in that sense that we still have buyers that are looking as far as the sellers are concerned. I want to touch on a couple things. We saw 128 new listings come to the market last week. That's pretty standard with what we've been seeing. The pendings were down a little bit though. We actually didn't see quite as many pendings the last week as we have been seeing over the last few weeks. Probably has something to do with uh, the interest rates being up a little bit. So something to keep an eye on. If we still were to draw a circle from Mountain Gate down to Cottonwood and include you know, out to Centerville and Palisadro Bella Vista, we're looking at only around 240 homes in that Reading kind of, you know, an outskirts area. So, you know, obviously still not a lot of homes out there. And then I was reading a study a survey that was done by Realtor.com talking about who's buying all the houses. And it actually surprised me quite a bit. So first time home buyers made up 34% of the home purchases uh, last year, which is a pretty significant amount. It, it, it was up about 5% from the year before. And then millennials uh, made up 43% of the home purchases last year. Now, what they're saying is many of the millennials that were buying homes actually had homes to sell. And so they were selling a home and purchasing a newer home, whether it was the family's bigger or they just had enough equity because of how well the market has done over the last couple of years that they decided, hey, let's get into something that's a little bigger or has a pool or has more property and uh, took advantage of what's going on in our local market. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. I really appreciate the referrals. It's been a great week. Had a couple really good referrals from some past clients come in. Super grateful for that. I hope everyone's having a great day and I'll talk to you soon.